Hello everyone and welcome back to Moss Tree Village. I am Mayor Siri and we are outside of my gorgeous home with its beautiful hedge fence. I am still so excited about this hedge fencing. It is so lovely and I feel so guilty you guys because I was so busy yesterday. I forgot to go over and check on Blanche even though she had the cold for a couple days and we were showering her in medication. I really hope she's gotten better. So we're going to go check on her in just a moment but let's go ahead and see what's in the mail. Oh, we have two letters. That's so cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of one of our letters, our old letters, so that I can see what, who are these from? Did mom send me another letter? All right, let's go. No, that's from Chips. I got to keep that one forever and ever and ever. All right, we'll toss the one from Big Top, and then we'll go ahead and collect up whatever else is in the mail. This is so exciting. I wasn't expecting two letters. I really need to start writing mail to everybody again. Oh, that would be so much fun. All right, so let's go ahead and see two notes we have one from tabby kind generous siri it was so sweet of you to compliment my dingy place next time you come over you won't even know you're in the same house promise take this as my thanks you rock from tabby thank you tabby also i love that that stationery for this time of the year so that's a really fun sort of autumny mushroomy stationery speaking of autumn mushrooms i think that there's like a mushroom set you can get i need to figure out how you can get the mushroom set that would be really cool oh and it's the reds gallery dear cousin siri a crazy Red would like to thank you again for your wise purchase of the fine painting. I'm sure you'll feel content with your choice from Red's Gallery. All right, so we need to see if this was the right kind of painting or not. I'm not sure if that's the authentic thing. So this fine painting here, I need to go and take to Blathers and see if it was the real deal. And then Tabby sent me a cheese floor. Oh, that's hilarious. It's too bad. I wonder if we could get chatter to take it off of our hands. So we need to take our fine painting over to do, 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 over to Blathers in just a second. And I have a few fossils for him too, don't I? Yeah, I do have a few fossils. Is Blanche home? I'm out for she's out for a walk you guys let's see if we stumble on her on our way up oh my gosh and look at how many of our violets or are these irises I can never remember look at how they're spreading all over the place that is so fun where are all my villagers I know normally we don't get on this late in the day normally it's like early when we get on so I wonder where everybody is Oh, pears. I don't have any pears yet. That's a good point. We need to start thinking about village projects, you guys. I have been so sidetracked with all of the special events and running around doing everything. I haven't been properly planning our village. So today, let's go ahead and work on clearing out our inventory. Oh, I need to take that candy. All right, and I have a bee I have to take up to Blathers, too. But I need to take this candy. Oh, and there's a note. Hello, little birdo. Fundraising notice. Moss Tree will be setting up a collection gyroid for the new pro public works project. Donate to help us complete the cobblestone bridge. Oh, I can't wait to get that cobblestone bridge done. And the other thing is just the fishing tourney results. I love that little notice board. It really is quite adorable. All right, let's go ahead and come over here. Hello, hello. And I'm going to come and we're going to put away our candy so that we've got somewhere safe for the candy to go. And I guess I could sell the silver nugget, but I kind of want to keep my hands on it for now. So there we go. There's a candy that we can store. Do I want to keep any of these things? Oh, the candy jar. <gasps> Let's put the candy jar with the candy. That's so cute. And then we do have a fireplace that I'm actually thinking would be kind of fun to use in the future. So I'll put the fireplace away too. And then anything else I was wanting to keep? The cowhide rug, I'm okay with getting rid of. I was just sort of holding on to it in case uh, it's something that we need for the catalog. And I do need to put down the two other houses so that we can use those as our future museums and even set them up as like some sort of fun little shop. Speaking of shops, let's catch this butterfly just because we can. Ha! My reputation as an entomology expert for the village is definitely going to stay strong. So there's that. I don't see anybody. All right, well, let's take all of the stuff we have to Blathers, but I'm a little concerned. Where'd all my villagers go? That's my favorite part of my day is being able to spend some time with my villagers. All right, well, let's go ahead and get to work. We are a mayor and we have a lot of things to do. I really have been putting off actually making the village look nice. We should go talk to Isabel and see what everybody thinks about our village. Oh, Blathers. What do you, what on earth could you possibly have to think about, Blathers? We already expanded the museum. Are you going to tell me there's like some sort of secret dinosaur dig project I need to do? Speak to me, Blathers. Who, oh, um, what's wrong? Oh, why, Mayor, how fortuitous that I should see you right now. Who, for I am once again flummoxed, possibly even vexed by a problem. If anyone can help, it's you. Oh, this is cool. What is he going on about? 
this time my dilemma involves a friend, truth be told, an old acquaintance named Brewster. He is a master coffee brewer, but this fellow has no place where he can put his skills to use. So why not open a cafe here in Mastery? Visitors would love it. Imagine, if I may say, the good buzz. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Of course, we now come to open the problem. I cannot ever hope to build a cafe on my own. I'm sure my friend would delight all of Mastery. I can vouch for his skills as a conjurer of coffee. But I can't say abracadabra and make this dream a reality. Ooh, what to do? Oh, of course, the answer is standing right before me. You, Mayor, you have the power, who? A cafe would benefit Mastery. In fact, what sort of town doesn't have a proper coffee monger? Yes, I'm firmly convinced. I'll be sure to share this plan with your secretary, Isabel. The fate of the cafe, indeed, of my good friend too, is in your hands, Mayor. My thanks in advance. Oh my goodness, I think I've heard about this. I have never seen the coffee shop in real, like in, in person, but I've heard of Brewster. So I think he's a pigeon who's a friend of Blathers. Blathers, wake up, I have donations to give you. <laughs> Blathers, come on, come on, buddy. I know that you're feeling pretty resolved that I'll take care of this. Actually, I'm pretty excited. I would love to get the cafe built in our town. All right, let's go ahead and assess, assess these fossils. But yeah, so I think you can actually build a cafe and then Brewster the Pigeon will move in and he will make coffee. And you can actually, I've heard, work part-time at his coffee shop. Yes, something that hasn't been in a museum collection yet. Dun, dun, dun. So I think that would be really, really fun to be able to have the ca the cafe come in, especially because we're turning into more of like a casual sort of uh, nature park slash farming sort of community completely by accident with lots of museums. So you know what? You need a good coffee. Oh, mammoth torso, fine painting and the bee. Let's see if those are all, all accurate things. Come on, tell me the fine paintings for real. <gasps> Was the fine painting the right one? Oh my gosh, yes! You guys, the fine painting was the right one! I did it! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, that's so awesome! And we have an, an extra fossil. Oh no, hang on! Oh no! <laughs> no, come back! Oh no, come back! <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my stylus and sent it sprawling across the room. I was so excited. Oh my gosh. The Diplo chest. Okay, so we've got another fossil. I think we'll probably either sell it or just give it away to one of our friends. And then we've also got the silver nugget. <gasps> a display case! Celeste! Celeste, tell me about the display case. Oh, and there's a silver bug net. And a lot of you guys have told me I need to get the silver bug net because it lets you catch things easier. So I, I might buy that. What about this? Hey, Celeste. Come on, Celeste. Come on, sorry to bother you. Man, I need to get the cafe because a coffee shop might help these people stay awake longer. Come on, museum walls. Okay. Uh, never mind. I think I'm good. We should be okay. Don't worry. All right. All right, Celeste, stay awake. Stay awake. Okay, hang in there. Ooh, okay, she made it. A glass display case. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. I want to see what I can do with this glass display case. There we go. I know exactly what I'm going to try it out with, too. Let's go into our little fossil section. And then we can try putting it up in there. Ha ha ha! I forgot I left some fossils in here, too. So I've been dropping fossils on the ground to kind of go with our cool little dig room that we have built in here. So we have the tail of an Inclearsaurus. What happens if we actually put down the Diplo chest? Oh, I love it. Let's just kind of smush pieces together in some horrific mishmash mingling of bones until I, I can do something else with them. That's kind of actually sort of awesome. So we're going to leave that even though I can hear like so many people being like, no, Siri, how could you? All right. And then I actually want to see, I want to push this. Come on. You're in the wrong spot. You need to go. You need to go over here. Let me see if I can put it right here. There we go. And then I think, is that gonna go? Yes, check that out. You guys, that's so cool. I love those display cases. I hope we can buy so many of them. I hope Celeste has lots and lots and lots that we can get from her or we can get them from Tommy and Timmy's store now. So let me go ahead and gather up these fossils and we'll just start leaving a whole bunch of the gemstones kind of on the ground over here. Um, eventually we might properly organize them. Maybe I need to go buy an extra shovel and drop it on the ground over there too. That would be so fun in the little dig room just as like a diorama display. That would be fun. All right, Blathers. Blathers, pardon me. 
And then I need to go find where Blanche went because I want to make sure she's feeling okay. Also, you guys are so sweet. I've been thinking about potentially doing uh, more or less daily Animal Crossing instead of every other day if I can find the time for it. Because it's so amazing how much there is to do all the time. And I want to start being able to do like once a week going on dreams. And I want to go and visit some of your guys' homes. Yay! We found something new! I'm so excited! Alright, so let's go ahead and turn in whatever the new thing is, and then we'll take up the extra to our private museum room. Make a donation! Alright, what are we donating? We are donating the Diametrion skulls. Sweet! So, there you go, Blathers. I hope you enjoy. So cool! I can't wait to get the cafe built, and we also need to get Aurora's bridge finished! Oh, that'll be so fun! But yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy and I'm loving this. And thank you guys for being so nice and sweet because it really makes it so much fun to be able to share all of the adventures that we go on. All right, so let's see what the extra piece is that we have to put away now. And we might even go fossil digging when we hit town again. So much to do. And I also need to earn lots of money. I haven't been able to get on to do some extra digging around. A saber tooth skull? Oh, that's so cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put the saber tooth skull down. And then we'll have a total mishmash. <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! That's amazing! What a mishmash! So we have a big chest, we have an Ankylosaurus tail, and a saber tooth skull. And we'll just kind of leave that horrific mishmash of things there. And I will see if there is an extra shovel for sale at Tommy and Timmy's today. Alright, so let's go ahead and head out. And I also need to find where Blanche has gone because I miss my friend and I'm really hoping she's doing okay. All right, and let's head out. But yes, I would love to visit some of your guys' towns. I still need to figure out how everything works. Apparently, if you exchange friend codes, people can also show up and they can actually wreck your town. So I want to be super safe. I want to make sure that we don't uh, we don't put Moss Tree Village at risk. Oh my goodness! Is there some remodeling going on? Oh my gosh! Timmy, what's happening next door? There's some remodeling going on. Okay, so there's a little end table. Uh, here's a fancy pantsy bed. <gasps> oh, I want this! Timmy! Timmy! Timmy, um, I was gonna say, could you get that down for me? But I realized you're like half my size. <laughs> so I'm not sure how he's actually getting this down, but I want that festival lamp. Imagine the cool kind of themed room we could make with that. And this is a regal bed, huh? I wonder... I'll take it, because I want to see... Let's go talk to Cyrus and see if I can change the design on it somehow. All right, no extra shovel today, but there is the medicine and I'm gonna buy it. So we're stocked up on medicine all of the time. I wanna make sure that if we ever have another villager get sick, we have extra medicine. Some planked, what? I wanna see it, let me see, buddy. <gasps> I want it. Oh my gosh, I want that, yes, that's so cool. Oh, now I'm getting in the mood to like start expanding my house again. Ooh, an astro floor, what does it look like? Oh, you know, I was thinking it was going to like have stars on it or something. All right. Thank you, Timmy. Timmy, pardon me. I'm so sorry to push you a little bit. You're just kind of like right there. So a modern wood wall. Show me, show me. Oh, what? I just straight up bought it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. And this is going to be the spooky, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, okay. Pardon me. Pardon me. Last thing I need to do is go ahead and I'm just going to buy the spooky sofa. Oh, it's so expensive! But I'm gonna buy it because I haven't yet and I want it in my catalog. And speaking of catalogs, let's see. So please tell me, I'm really hoping that you can get all of the spooky things. Spooky, 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 yeah, spooky. Yeah, you can order any of the spooky things. So that makes me pretty happy to know that you can order all the spooky things. And uh, can you order anything? Asteroid, oh, I could get more asteroids. That would be so cool. I could get more plants. Can't order the crab clocks or anything like that. Now, what about the display cases? No, okay, so important to note, you can't get any of the display cases or any of those things. So those can only be bought from Celeste. So I would have to check Celeste place every single day in order to get that. All right, and we wanna make sure we get the candy. I can't believe Halloween is coming so soon. It really helps that Tommy and Timmy remind you you need to save up for it. There we go, so new items for my catalog. It really is funny because I'm more buying all of the things to save up for the catalog than anything else. Look at this! Able Sisters! 
Are you expanding? Oh, I have no room for anything. I'm gonna take a peek inside. Maybe Blanche is visiting. And I feel so bad for Leaf because I haven't gotten his happy flowers for a little while. Oh, Caesar, hey. Hello, Mabel. What's going on upstairs? What are you guys doing up there? Oh, it's a cute little like maple leaf thing. Oh, and that's a cool jacket. Caesar, I wish you would wear that. Seriously. New duds, yep. How are you doing today, Caesar? Did you see anything that really catches your attention, Highness? Yeah, I did, actually. Why don't you come? And why don't you wear this, Caesar? <sighs> All right, maybe if I, can you like push him next to something? That design is someone is by someone in any town. No, thank you. Just looking. Thank you, Mabel. Anything else, Caesar? You're really helping me understand to get over. I need to get over my gorilla bias, Caesar, because you're so friendly and you give me plants and you take care of my plants. Wearing the same clothes day after day can get pretty boring, yeah? Yes, it can. You should you should try something new. All right. Well, we'll work with him in the future to try and change his outfit once again. I've been trying to get him in like something like a pirate outfit for quite a while now. Bye, Bertos. All right, so now we need to go find where Blanche has gone to. And if we can't find her, well, I've got several things I need to put away. So let's go over to our locker and I'm just gonna drop off like the candy and now I have medicine because now I know that my poor villagers can become sick. I mean, oh, it'd be cute if one of our, one of our rooms was like a nurse's office or something. That would actually be really adorable. Oh, and there's a will shark. <laughs> Forgot I had a will shark. All right, oh, and the skull shirt. I'm pretty sure I can get rid of that. So I'm gonna put this away. Uh, cheese floor, candy, cowhide rug, mud and wood wall, which I didn't even mean to snag. All right, pretty much all of this, if one of the villagers wants any of this, I'm fine with that. So let's go talk to everybody. I need to find where Blanche is. And we're going to go speak with Aurora as well. And maybe Tabby too. I just really want to make sure that we talk to all of the villagers I would consider friends. Every day. Also, I think these peaches are now bad. So I better pick them up and get rid of them. Oh, and we should go talk to Isabel and see what everybody thinks about town. That would be a good idea. I need to see. I, I've been such a busy, busy mayor. I haven't really been tending to things as I should. But let's go see what everybody has to say about our beautiful Amos Tree Village. That would be quite nice. All right. So let's see what's over here. Isabel, Isabel. Tell me all about it, Isabel. I would like to have citizen satisfaction report. You want to know how satisfied the citizens of Amos Tree are? Sure thing. Here's what the Citizen Satisfaction Committee has to say. It seems that Moss Tree is starting to gain some attention as a popular sightseeing destination. I hope they continue to work hard on revitalizing this town. Eek eek. The citizens also say they feel Moss Tree is underdeveloped. They want more public works projects. The fate of Moss Tree lies in your hands, Mayor Siri. I know you'll do us proud. Oh, I'll do my best, Isabel. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, she gives you the happy little wave when you leave. Oh, she's so sweet. All right, so we've got some work to do, you guys. I think I'm gonna gather up some of the the different... Oh, the peaches didn't go bad, sweet. All right, so we might pick some peaches, we might pick some persimmons, gather up some various things. There's a bell cricket. I don't think it sells for a lot. Oh, bell cricket, that was kind of embarrassing. Hey, come here. There we go. Cute little bell cricket. They actually have the really cool little basket uh, that they, they fall in. Or the, they have a basket container instead of like the normal tank container, so I think they're pretty fun. All right, let's see if we can find where Blanche is. <gasps> Blanche, you're better! Thanks for nursing me back to health the other day, Siri. I feel so much better now. Here, you really deserve a gift. Take my polka dot stool. Oh, thank you, Blanche. I'm so glad you're feeling better. I can always count on you to look after my health, even when I'm too feverish to know I'm sick. Oh, I'm so glad she's better. What can I do for you, Siri? Quite so. What's up, Blanche? There's a rumor going around that you're a bug whisperer. As far as rumors go, that's not half bad. I've certainly been called worse. Oh, who would who would say such a thing to you, Blanche? All right, let's see if she wants to trade anything. So, I've heard you have something pretty nice, Siri. Well, I'll be completely honest with you, Siri. I need your bell cricket. I knew it! She is such a sucker for the crickets. There's something about crickets that Blanche loves. She loves the bell crickets. I'm willing to give you every bell in my pocket to buy it. Let's see how much I have. Oh, yes, 774 bells. Sure. I mean, I would give it to you for free. 
but you can totally have it. There you go. I knew it. She just loves bell crickets. And then or she just takes them every time and puts them in her house. It's so fun. What an impulse purchase. I don't usually throw bells around like that, Siri. That's because you have a weakness for the adorable crickets, Blanche. It's something that we share. All right. So town development. Ugh, I missed. There we go. All right. Got the fossil. So town development, um, I think it's probably pretty important for me to actually clear out some trees, which is going to be a little bit weird, but we'll go up and we'll look at the town hall in just a second where I'm thinking about clearing out trees and then we'll sell any of the extra stuff I happen to have inside of my inventory. But let's talk to Genji and everybody else real quick. Hey, hey, Mega S, gonna love this weather. Perfect training conditions, Otaku. What can I help you with? Want to chat? Yeah, I've been working on my biceps like crazy lately. I love to show off for some out-of-towners. You should invite some friends from other towns to come and see this, this gun show, Otaku. Haha, <laughs> the guns are my muscles, of course, and I'm training my butt off for until your pals show up. Good for you, Genji. All right, so let's see if he wants anything. The day after it rains, the ground is really soft. So these eerie creatures that were asleep under the ground open their eyes and start to... <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Gyrites? Oh, did you already know about that stuff? It's a lot easier to dig up gyroids the day after it rains. All right, now go out and find a bunch of them, Otaku. Thank you so much, Genji. And they're talking about out-of-towners a lot, so we'll have to go check to see if we have any campers today. Hey, good to see you. I love how Chatter just disappears into the roses. What's going on? Let's chat, Chatter. I'm obsessed with a specific fish, Siri. Do you think you could catch me a dab? I could try? I mean, I'll go, I'll go try really quickly. So we'll go see if we can catch him a dab. Oh, hey, Kit Kat, you're still here. You said you were going to move away, you goose. All right, so let's see what Kit Kat wants today, and then I need to go visit with Aurora. Uh-oh, I'm getting that old familiar feeling again. I've got the urge to conceal, my conceal myself like a super spy. I got it. What, hide and seek? What? We can have fun sneaking around, training our muscles for stealth mode, and sweating like crazy. You like sweating, right? Come on. Okay. Wait, what is this? Oh, he's got a fleas on him. Oh my gosh! <gasps> We're really playing hide and seek? If you can find three hiders within 10 minutes, Siri, you win! There's no hiding in buildings, so only look outside. Okay, it's on. Three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh! I've never done hide and go seek before! Oh, this is so fun! Okay, we should probably, like, be reasonable about this. Alright. And actually, while we're over here, I'm going to release the monarch butterfly in case you get a gift from doing this. Because <laughs> I don't want him to tell me my inventory is too full. All right, let's see. Where would they be hiding? Maybe behind certain things? Not over here. This is actually where I'm thinking about building, like, uh, maybe the cafe? All right, let's see if I can find anything. Anybody up here? Hmm, are you gonna be behind anything? We've got a lot of trees in this town. Where would hiders normally be? Are they gonna be hiding behind trees? Are they gonna be hiding behind buildings? Okay, I wanna run, but I know everybody's gonna yell at me if I run. There's a fossil, have to come back for that later. Wow, really? I thought this was gonna be easy, like just walk around and bump into everybody. So not inside buildings. What about around the plaza? Nobody here. I thought this was gonna be super easy. What do you mean everybody is hiding this well? Look, this this good. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, was that Kit Kat? Do they move around? Okay, you guys, I know I'm not supposed to wait, what was that? Nah. I know I'm not supposed to run on my grass, but come on! I'm so curious. Where are my hiders? Where is everybody? Are you guys behind Kit Kat's house? There's the other fossil. So I found all the fossils for the day. Come on, okay, not here. What about the campsite? Aurora, Aurora, do you know where everyone is? Hi there, Siri, ready for another great day? So what can I do for you? What's the latest, Aurora? I'm so hungry, I need fruit. Oh, oh, Clarice, of course, sure, I'll bring you some fruit. Give me a minute though. Genji! Hey, do you have- are you gonna tell me where someone is? Uh, okay. Uh, I guess? Uh, uh, okay, I'll take your stuff. Okay, thank you. I got a new shirt. That's really sweet of you, Genji. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you, Genji. Oh, darn, there's no camper today. 
Where is everybody? <gasps> I found Blanche! I found Blanche! I'm so excited! Oh, there's Kit Kat! Kit Kat, gotcha! Aw, Barbells, you got me! There are still two are there are still two hiders out there. They're like hide and seek ninjas. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I know where Blanche is. Ah, ah, okay, there we go. So let's run down and snag Blanche. So she hid down on the beach. That's clever. And it looks like they like to hide behind trees. Blanche. Ah, oh, it's so adorable. Look at her. Hey, I found you. I found you. Oh, you found me. There's one more to find, so keep seeking, Siri. Ah, this is so fun. Okay, we'll find... Oh, Gulliver! <laughs> I don't think... I don't think this is part of the plan um, for who we should find, but we'll come and we'll wake him up next. That's what I mean. There's so much to do here every day. Okay, let's go search up top. There's no trees on the other side of the beach. So let's go check over by... Oh, no, I killed that. I killed that tulip. <gasps> I really... Oh, Oh wait, oh wait, I don't think I've ever seen that bug before. I need it. I just got a walking stick, yes! Okay, just got a brand new bug, which means, oh my pockets are gonna be so full. <laughs> Why, okay, hang on. I'm going to, I'm gonna put on the ground this fossil and drag those persimmons together because I wanna make sure that I can actually, if they give an item for finding everybody, I wanna be able to get it. All right, I'm running out of time. How am I running out of time? I can't believe I'm running out of time. All right, Chatter is going to be tricky because he's so small. It's hard to find him. I think he's going to be over by his house then because he's not over behind any of these houses. And there's a ton of houses that are over here. So Kit Kat was hiding over here. Genji is really, really happy. Genji's just singing to Genji's self. Come on. All right, come on. All right, nope, nothing back here. All right, and nobody behind the campfire. And let's check up here. Aurora's singing to herself. All right, come on, where's Chatter? There he is! Got him! Huh, how'd you find me? Oh, I thought I found the perfect hiding spot in Moss Tree. We did it, you guys! I found everyone! <laughs> Froggy cheer! Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. A good game. I'll have to play again. Psst. All right, that was pretty cool. Blanche, that was really cool. No, I was trying to talk to Blanche, Kid Cat. He just like pushed himself right past. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead. I want to speak to Blanche about the, the hide and go seeking we just did. All right, so want to chat, Blanche? Did you know store items? You can store items? Yes, I did. The cool lockers, I am all over that. Trust me, I need more space in my house already for all the stuff I am finding. All right, so let's go poke Gulliver, you guys, and make sure that Gulliver's okay. Oh my gosh, Genji, you just put on the corset. The corset is spreading, so Genji just changed his outfit to the corset outfit. So that corset outfit that Chatter started giving out, it is just spreading to all of the villagers. It's amazing how it just takes up like a craze in town. But all right, we've still got more to do, so let's come down and we need to come and poke Gulliver a little bit. Do I have enough room in case he wants to give us anything? I think I do. Give me just a second. I need to store some things in here. Uh, I guess my fishing rod <laughs> and I guess my, my shovel? I have so many shirts I don't know what to do with. Um, um, the polka dot stool, I guess? And then maybe, maybe I have so many things to sell. Festival lantern shirt. Okay, there we go. Should have a little bit of room now. All right, so now we need to just keep poking Gulliver until he wakes up. And apparently you just have to literally keep talking to him. And then apparently, eventually, he wakes up and he'll ask you some interesting questions about places that he's been to. Come on, Gulliver. Come on. Finally! No, Lizzie, go away. Stay away from me. He's awake! Gasp, gasp, I say. Am I in the over there? So you must be an angel, right? That's kind of adorable. Oh, I guess not. My name is Gulliver. I happen to be a simple seller who travels from the seven who travels the seven seas searching for an eighth. Who? Oh, Lizzie is the name of an old girlfriend of mine. Nah, I'm just fooling you. It's the name of the hurricane that attacked me. Whoosh! 
Lizzie sure was a rough dame, well, Hurricane. After all, she completely blew away all my memories clean from my head. I'm pretty sure I was heading somewhere, I just can't remember where that somewhere was. Oh, I know, it's so obvious. Will you figure, will you help me figure out where I was heading? Sure! Let's see if we can do our best. You mean it? I haven't met such a noble skipper since old Bobbery of Rogueport. Not even close. Now, I suppose we, sh we should start with anything and everything I can remember about where I was going. Hmm. The country I was headed to had huge pictures drawn right on the ground called geoglyphs. There are a lot of mysteries that surround them. Who drew them? How did they do it? What was the reason for it? Were they sending a message? I can't help but feel my intellectual curiosity is piqued. Sweet, I sound so smart. <laughs> uh, also, they've got these animals called alpacas that they're pretty well known for. Alpacas sort of look like camels, but they're white and have soft fluffy coats. Hmm? You think they're pink and blue? <laughs> oh, the native country that maybe um, Cyrus and Reese are from. That's adorable. Uh, okay, let's see. So he wants to go cuddle alpacas. So the country with alpacas. Uh, I don't think... Is that chili? Chile, is it Argentina? It's not Mexico. What about Peru? Peru, I'm pretty sure he's talking about Peru. Yeah? Yes! Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Okay, so he's headed to Peru, so I guessed correctly. And he's gonna send me a fancy souvenir. That's so exciting. Thank you, Gulliver. I never thought a seagull like me would be such dead weight once I hit the water. When I was a chick, I went sw took swimming class every week, though I did have huge water wings as backup. Oh, that's adorable. So now we have rescued Gulliver. I don't think we're going to be able to get the dab as much as I, I want to hope that we can stumble upon the dab. I think I've only found it like, twi like twice when we were out and about. But you know what? Let me do a good, let me do, I'm just going to, I'm going to do a good attempt. I can't even remember who I promised the dab to now. I don't think it was Kid Cat. If it was Kate Cat, I think he would want it for dinner. Was it Genji? Hmm. Let's see if this is going to be a dab. What do you think, Gulliver? Oh, hey, it's a new thing. A Ren Snapper. Oh, we have so much to give over to Blathers. Do I have enough room for a little more? I have enough room for a little more. What a busy day. And here I thought it was not going to be a busy day. These guys look pretty big. I don't think these are going to be dabs. I think, oh, there's, no, I want the little guy. I wanted the little guy. I think if I ignore him, then I can try to get the little guy? Maybe. Hey. Hey, who are you? You're gonna be a sea bass, aren't you? Oh, you scared away the little guy. Yep, sea bass. Okay. So we'll go ahead and just sell the sea bass. And then I'll try it one more time. I did say I would at least attempt to get the dab. And I think, does it hurt your relationship with, with someone? Of course it would hurt your relationship. If you promise somebody something and then you don't deliver, of course it's going to hurt your relationship with them. It always will. Even if you had good intentions or like reasonable things happen, that's why you have to be super careful when you make promises, you guys. All right, let's try this last fishy. And we're going to see if we have any luck. <gasps> oh, dang it. That was a really fast fish. I was not expecting him to be so quick. All right, this last fishy. <laughs> And, oh, this guy was really ready too. <gasps> we did it! I actually caught a dab. Oh, an olive flounder. Wait, what? Wait, so is this not? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I really thought we actually caught it. <laughs> and we didn't. All right, that's fine. Well, we're going to go ahead and we are going to go straight up. Let's talk to Blanche just one last time. Just in case she wants to trade any of the amazing things that we happen to be holding. Want to chat? Did you know that Punchy is allergic to cherry cola? Ha, huh, I just made that up. See, that's how rumors get started. One person makes something up out of the blue and it sticks. Apparently, the truth doesn't really matter. All that matters is entertainment value. On that note, quite so. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's a lot of truth to that for like the entertainment industry, I suppose. All right, let's talk to Aurora just one more time as we go past. All right. So how are you doing, Aurora? I'm going to work on your bridge. I'm so excited. Oh, give her something? Oh, sure, Aurora. Um, uh, do you want my, uh, sea bass? You know what? Yeah, sea bass. Let's give her a sea bass. What do you think? Actually, um, I'm not really in the mood to eat this. You can have it. Oh, that's right. I told her I would give her fruit. I totally forgot. Oh, my gosh. I forgot I was going to bring her fruit. Is she going to like... Oh, I forgot I was going to bring her fruit. 
Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry, Aurora. I got so distracted with the, the dab. I completely forgot. I told her we would bring her fruit. And then here I am like, here's your sea bass. Oh, sorry, Aurora. I'll get it right next time. All right. So let's go ahead and sell all of the stuff that we are tackling, like just rolling around with that we don't need. And then we will go ahead and give all of the money to the gyroid to see how much more progress we can make for the day. So we're going to sell all of these t-shirts. I don't even know what I'm going to do with those. Same thing for all of the flooring. The regal bed, I'm going to see. Oh, and the froggy chair, I do want to see what that looks like. And then let's see. Spooky sofa can go. And the red snapper is actually going to be a donation. So I do want to see what the froggy chair looks like, though. Now, we aren't going to get very much money. Because we never do get very much money for things that we resell. But, oh. And there's that kitchen. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Cyrus. Can you change this bed, actually? I'm really curious about that. Maybe to a custom design or custom pattern? Okay, let's see if he wants to... He wants to change the regal bed. Let's see. The frame? No, I'm okay. All right, it looks like he can't change the regal bed. So we'll go ahead and sell the regal bed then. I would like to sell a Reese. Uh, of course, I would like to sell this and the kitchen. I don't really want the kitchen. Oh, I'll keep the froggy chair. All right. So we lost a ton of money on all those things. But that's okay because then we have them for our... Doo -doo -doo. Then we have them for our catalog, which is what really matters because we can use the catalog to create some pretty awesome rooms in the future. All right, you guys. So... I think the last thing we're really going to do is we are going to head over and donate all of the money that we currently have to the, doo -doo -doo. we're going to donate it to the little gyroid. And then I also need to get my axe out at some point in the future. I don't think I'm carrying my axe. What am I carrying? That's actually a good question. So let's actually see what I happen to have. I have an umbrella. I have a speaker. I have who knows what that is. There's, there's the watering can that I don't really need because the villagers take care of everything for me. All right, slingshot, speaker, umbrella, watering can. There we go. And then what on earth was I carrying? A polka dot stool and a festival lantern and a few persimmons. But the next thing we're going to work on is probably clearing away some of these trees so that we can put down... I'm thinking that I want to put the two museum places like right over here. Like one right here. And then one right here, and then we can put a public works project or two kind of in the center. So I think we have to clear away more or less. Oh, there's there's one of the, the fossil spots. Let's get this fossil. So I think we have to clear away some of these trees so that we can put the houses down. And then once we do that, I'm really hoping I'll be happy with where the houses are. I mean, if I could, I would actually put them right next to the town hall. So they kind of look like wings to town hall. But I'm not sure if we can pull that off. So, I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Putting them in front of Town Hall would be really nice, especially if we could mix in a bunch of the... There it is. If we could mix in some of the um, public works projects, too. I don't know what all the public works projects look like, though, because I'm so new at this. I'm so new at this. So, we'll just have to do our best, you guys. All right. Oh, bye, guys. Hi, everybody. Oh, I love seeing my villagers out and about. I'm so glad that Blanche is feeling better. And let's go ahead and donate... Another 1,000 bells, or 10,000 bells at least. There we go. Another 10,000 bells to the cause. All right. So there we go, you guys. We're getting Aurora's Bridge worked on, and we'll do some more projects to take care of our village next time. And we'll have to see if Gulliver sent us a souvenir. Huzzah! Oh, yeah, and the thing that somebody's, somebody's building a thing up in Main Street. So we'll see what that's all about, too. But all right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.